Morning guys, Sean here from Hammerhead Garage. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hope everybody had a good holiday and got a chance to catch up with some family and friends and whatnot, which is the most important part in my opinion about it. Um, just out in the garage today, kind of bored, sitting around. Not too cold out today. It's, it's a winter day here obviously in Canada, but it's not that bad out. So I figured I'd come out and do a video and say hi to everybody. Uh, I want to show you what I'm up to today. Uh, remember I was telling you in my affordable hot rodding video that I, I fund my projects by um, selling, buying and selling stuff? Well, that's kind of what I'm up to today. Uh, I know everybody's broke after Christmas, but I'm getting my eBay ads and all that other stuff that I sell stuff on ready for, the, for when people start coming out of the slump, which is usually end of January. They start looking for stuff for projects and whatnot again. And I'll just give you a little tour of what I'm doing, show you what kind of stuff I kind of sell. And I got a bunch of project bikes, and uh, there's a set of pipes off a 1970 CV450. They're all original, pretty good condition. They should fetch a pretty, pretty penny for me, I hope. There's the gas tank off that bike. Now, it's not too sweet. It's got uh, some problems, as you can see, but it's an original CB 750 or 450 tank from 1970. It's got that cap someone could probably use. Uh, there's some rust holes in it, unfortunately, uh, rather bad ones, but it might be able to be fixed. It's got the original petcock. And underneath of the tank isn't that bad. The tunnel and all that looks pretty good, so maybe this tank could be fixed. I don't know. I know these tanks are pretty rare, they're hard to get nowadays. Anyway, and got a carburetor here, Motorcraft 2150, off of my, my other 302 that was in this truck. Uh, it's a good carb, ain't nothing wrong with it at all. Doesn't leak, doesn't smoke, everything works. It was converted over to a manual choke type setup, so somebody will be able to use that. And I get an old air cleaner here. So like I said, I come across stuff all the time. Some of a motorcycle mechanic. Um, you know, I get deals here and there. Um, customers sometimes come in and they got parts and they want to know if I want to want them on trade for like some of the labor off or whatnot. Occasionally I'll do that. I try not to, but occasionally I will. Uh, so yeah, so I take those parts that I don't have any use for and I just re-gift them essentially. So I'm sure you guys know what re-gifting is, but. It's a good way to make extra money for your projects. Um, like I was saying to you guys, I got some things I want to do to this truck here next year and uh, it's a good way to fund it is by selling the stuff that you don't need that maybe somebody else can use, right? The market around here, I have sold stuff locally here before, but the market around here is too small and uh, so I, I like to go to eBay and places like that because you can sell it international. And right now they got a deal on, I think where there's no selling fees for like, a week or something so they don't charge you anything to sell so that's kind of cool so I'll just see what else I can find around here that I'm not using I got a good set of um, Ford E7 heads off of a Mustang sitting right there that need to be cleaned up a little bit and maybe put some paint on them but they're otherwise good heads um, E7's not really a super performance head but they were on a lot of Mustangs and stuff and they can be made to be performance there's videos on Google on how to port them and stuff and how to open them up for performance. Problem with them heads is they got those thermactor bumps. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's an emissions bump that's right in the middle of the airflow, basically impeding airflow. And what it used to do is it would send exhaust gases back into the cylinder to be reburned, right? It's kind of like a PCV valve, but it's done mechanically inside the head. And it's pretty poor for performance. It blocks a lot of air. But anyway, just a short video today. Um, Sunday podcast, as usual, will be on at 8, 8 o'clock on Sunday nights. I like to go on there. I don't know what the topic's going to be this week. But I'm going to be having some special guests, uh, guys, you, uh, people you'll, you'll like to, to meet and whatnot on there. And there'll be some interesting topics brought up. So I hope you guys can join me Sunday nights, 8 o'clock. Just come on in. Get your coffee, get your beverage, whatever it is you do. Come on in and uh, say hi. You know, introduce yourself, say hello. Um, if anybody sees any of these items for sale on eBay and they want them, just let me know in the comments or send me a message that you're a subscriber to Hammerhead Garage and I'll give you a deal. Of course, that's only fair, right? But anyway, no, I've never apologized for making money. I mean, this is, 
when the bill collectors and, and uh, the banks and the gas companies and stuff uh, stop taking cash, we'll all stop making money. But until then, you, you got to find a way to to to, uh, to to finance the operation. As, you know, some people would say, like Alex Jones, he's always pushing his, his products there to finance the operation. Well, that's kind of what I'm trying to do here: finance the operation. But anyway, guys, see you on the next one. Cool. Bye.